Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Come on, put those hands together and give God some praise. Oh, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun. Our God is worthy to be praised. Welcome. Welcome to Elanton Missionary Baptist Church, where we offer God our very best. And listen, we're doing it a new, A-N-E-W, a new excellent way. We're doing it in a new excellent way, and we thank God for each and every one of you for being here on this Lord's Day, that we can celebrate the goodness of the Lord together. Whether you are on Facebook or YouTube or you're on our call to worship line, we thank God for every one of you. And may the presence of God be manifested in your life even right now. Come on, celebrate. Come on, put your hands together and give God some, some praise. As we celebrate the Lord, we also on today which we call here at Elanton Senior Power Day is a day where we place special emphases on and acknowledging and celebrating the lifelong contribution of our seniors who have made many contributions to make our church the church that it is and to make the kingdom of God what it is. And we're blessed and we're thankful for each and every one of our members. Come on, help me celebrate them right now. Celebrate them right now. And we celebrate and acknowledge our seniors because there's so much knowledge and wisdom to be gained from those who have walked with God throughout the seasons of, of life. But unfortunately, we live in a society that attends to, to overlook or undervalue the seniors. They stereotype the elderly. Seniors are often thought of as unproductive, they're alienated, and considered ineffectual. But on the contrary, we here at Elanton Missionary Baptist Church and in the kingdom of God, we honor, we celebrate, we value the seniors of our congregation. Come on, come on, because they're engaged in a helpful, wise, and an active way. And we just thank God for them. Our theme this year is seniors teaching and leading in turbulent times. And I thank God, I thank God, I rejoice in the Lord that God has given our seniors and the elderly a vivacious and enthusiastic attitude towards life that inspires us to place our hope in God while growing old graciously. Anybody growing old graciously with dignity and respect? I'm talking about seniors. I'm talking about Senior Power Day. And so I pray that we take this opportunity today along with you, my brothers and sisters, and beyond today to celebrate and contribute to the longevity by valuing and uh, revering seniors in the way that honors seniors and glorifies God. And so I like to say to all of the seniors of Elit, and we honor, we celebrate the gift of God in you. So you just keep on proclaiming Jesus and keep on being the great blessings that you are to other and may God's richest blessings continuously bless you each and every day of your life. Come on, one more time. Help me celebrate. Celebrate our seniors on Senior Power Day. And listen, if you're a senior, I want you to, uh, in the comment section, go ahead and type your name. Say, I'm a senior and I'm proud of it. And, uh, and, and then add that, that, just keep on living. Just keep on living. Just keep on living. To us young folk, uh, as a matter of fact, I, I, I'm a senior myself. And I'm proud of it. But we are thankful again for all of our seniors on this Senior Power Day. All right. So at this time, I want you to put your hands together and receive to bless us in song. Sister Ernestine Beeman. Come on, put those hands together and give God praise as she blesses us in song. Amen. I've had many tears. And I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times that I felt so all alone. But in those lonely hours, those precious Let's me know I was his own.
Sometimes I didn't know right from wrong, but in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation that my trials only come to make me strong. Now I thank God for my mountains and I thank Him for my valleys and I thank Him for the storms he's brought me through. For if I never had a problem, I would know, I would know, I would know that God put those hands together and give God praise sister Ernestine Beeman come on I come on give her give God praise come on lift up the name of Jesus through it all I learned to trust I learned to trust in the Lord anybody trusting in God hallelujah and I know I I know you were blessed I know you were blessed and uh, I just know Deacon Beeman is crying tears of joy right now to see sister Beeman singing her heart out to the Lord. Amen, 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 and amen. It's prayer time, it's prayer time. Put those hands together and celebrate the Lord because it is a privilege, it's an honor to pray. And my brothers and sisters, I don't know what I would have done or what I would do if I didn't have grandmama and great grandmama and the seniors of this church and in the kingdom of God praying for us the prayers of the righteous and listen listen I, I, I those who have have lived through this life seasons have learned how to trust in the Lord how to lean on him and how to pray with power and conviction knowing that God hears and answers our prayers and so I want to Extend an invitation for you to come to the altar right now. Yes, bring your heart, bring your soul, bring your faith. 
with you knowing that God hears and answers prayers. Deacon Shandra Shirley will lead us further in prayer. Good morning, church. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God that we are able here to be here today. Church, God is an awesome God, and we come to serve him in spirit and truth today. But we also need to go to him in prayer. God loves the prayers of the righteous. And the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So as we get ready to go to the throne of grace, let's clear our minds and our hearts and give God the glory and the praise. Dear Lord, we come this morning thanking you, Father, for keeping us, watching over us all night last night as we slumbered and slept. Woke us early this morning, Lord, and you started us on our way. This is the day that you've made, Father, and we're glad about it. We're asking you to keep us in this day, Father, all through this day. But, Father, let our minds and our hearts be stayed on you so we'll know what it is that we need to do, what it is we need to say, what it is we need to pray about today, Father. It seems like the whole world is in an uproar. But you're an awesome God, and you are a God that's always in order. And we bless your holy name. Father, we ask you, in the name of Jesus, Father, just to hold on to us, Father. Touch us, Father, when we seem like we don't know what to do or where to go, Father. We know that you are always there. Give us a mind to serve you and serve you in spirit and truth in all things, Father. Because every day is a day with you. And we just want to thank you, Father. Everything may not be going the way we want it to go, Father. But we know that you are God that's in order. And you can do anything but fail. Father, we lift up the sick and the shed in to you this morning. We lift up bereaved families this morning. We lift up the broken heart to you this morning, Father. We know that you are able to do anything but fail, Father. And we just want to say thank you this morning. Yes, this is the day that you've made. And we are going to rejoice. We are going to serve you today in spirit and in truth, Father. We just want to say thank you. We just want to thank you for every big thing, every little thing, everything small, everything that's not even imaginable, Father. We want to thank you for it today. You've taken us through some times, Father. And this time that we're in, Father, we need you. We need you, Father, more than we've ever needed you before. We don't know anything about this COVID and what's going on with all of it, Father. But we know we got a God that we can lean and depend on. Father, we know we can cry out to you in the midnight hour. We know that we can lift up our heads in the morning hour and ask you to just keep us, Father. And we know that you are a keeper of our souls. And we just want to say thank you this morning, Father. Take all the fear away from us, Father. You are God all by yourself, and you are not a, you are a fearful God, Father, but we don't have to be fearful because you take care of everything, Father. We pray for those that's in the hospital with the virus and those that's just sick, period, Father. But we know that you are the lifter of our heads, Father. And we know that you're going to bring somebody out today, Father. We know you're going to lift up someone today, Father. And we're going to say glory, hallelujah, to your name right now. Father, we praise your holy name. We give you honor and glory. There is none like you. 
And in your word, Father, they asked, is there a bomb in Gilead? Yes, there's a bomb in Gilead. There's a bomb right here in the city of Detroit, Father. And we just want to say thank you for being our God. We want to praise your name. We don't want to be afraid of anything, Father, because we got a God that can do anything but fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. We just thank you. We praise you. We give you honor and glory. And Lord, we're going to keep lifting our heads and our hearts up to you. We're not going to be afraid because we got a God that can do anything but fail. And we just want to say thank you. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. It's given time. It's given time. Put those hands together and give God some praise because listen, giving is worship. And when we worship God, we offer God our very best. And so I'm encouraging you, Elinton, and all of you who are viewing and listening to be a blessing to this ministry, to do so in a way that we can be very impactful in ministry, that we can touch the lives of those who worship with us and those who worship in our community and live in our community and even abroad. And so we need you to give, give in a manner that bespeaks your love for God. For God has in truly been faithful. And listen, we want to be faithful givers, faithful and cheerful givers, given in a manner, given in a manner that bespeaks who we are and what we believe and trust in. And that's worshiping God in all that we do. Listen, you can give through the mobile app, Gillified, and we encourage our members to do so, to do so. We're doing the things anew in a new excellent way. And so I want to challenge you not to be afraid of technology, but to use it, to use it to be a blessing to the kingdom of God. And then my brothers and sisters, you can also mail your offerings to Elinton Missionary Baptist Church, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. That's Elinton Missionary Baptist Church, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan, 48. Two one three, And listen, God loves a faithful giver. Let's bow our heads. Eternal God, thank you for this, another opportunity to worship you in our giving. Because God, all that we have comes from you. And we thank you for the many gifts, the many blessings that you bestowed in our lives. And so God, we ask that you would receive these gifts as our offering unto you. We ask that you bless it. Bless the givers. Oh, God, that you might be glorified. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. And amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you for your faithful and obedient giving. We just thank God for each and every one of you for supporting our ministry. Make sure that you do that and do so in a faithful way. Be giving in the name of Jesus. Giving in the name of love. Giving because God first gave and God first loved us. God bless you. It's preaching time. It's preaching time. Uh, we're so delighted uh, today to uh, introduce and present our preacher for this morning's message on this Senior Power Day, the Reverend Dr. Kurt Goodlow. Come on and give God praise for him. Uh, Dr. Goodlow is indeed a man called by God in times like these, and I consider him a friend, and I thank God for our friendship. Uh, Dr. Goodlow has been preaching for over 30 years. He's a former assistant pastor of the Prince of Peace Baptist Church. Also, Dr. Goodlow currently serves as Detroit Police Chaplain of the 4th uh, Precinct of the City of Detroit. Uh, Dr. Goodlow is also the founder of the Christ in Men's Ministry. It is a nonprofit designed to mentor and employ youth. It provides support to local pastors and it awards also stipends to women who are in need. We just thank God for the gift of God and Dr. Goodlow, who he is to me and who he is to Elaton Missionary Baptist Church. And we are so thankful that he accepted the invitation to bring a word from on high on us today. And so I want you to receive him after our praise team has blessed us with song. The next voice that you'll hear from this desk will be that none other than the Reverend Dr. Kirk Goodlow. God bless you. Receive our choir now as they bless us in song.
May we pray. Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. My Lord and my strength and my redeemer. Amen and amen. Let's church say amen. amen. All right. It's Senior Power Day here at Elyton. Amen. Amen. And it's good, it's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I was glad when they said, let us come into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Senior Power Day at Elyton, one Sunday in September, Elyton pays homage to its seniors for the work they have been commissioned to do. I am honored as well as privileged to be the speaker here on today. I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for yet another opportunity to serve him. I must also thank the angel of this house, Pastor Gerald T. Miller, who has allowed me to preach in his pulpit one more time. I thank him. He is a friend of mine. I consider him a great friend. I thank his beautiful wife, Lady Di, who was also a friend to me and to my wife, Gail. I would also like to acknowledge the committee of Senior Power Day, co-chairperson Sister Donna Hamilton, Donna Hamilton and Sister Barbara McKissick for all the work they have done allowing God to use them. Special thanks to Deacon Sandra Shirley for filling in when necessary with the committee. And special thanks to my lovely wife, Minister Gail Goodlow, for being there for me. The Lord placed you in my life and I thank God for that. Thank you, Gail, for the love you provide. You are truly my better half. And for all of you at Elyton and beyond on the broadcast, I bid you all saints good morning. Our theme today is seniors leading and teaching during turbulent times. The scripture is found in 2 Timothy, verses 4 and 2, chapters 4 and 2. It reads, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. In other words, we must preach the word with zeal, always preaching and teaching, reprimanding, when necessary, applying sharp disapproval and criticism when called for, and always encouraging and urging one to do better. For if we know better, we'll do better. The subject I will be speaking for from today will be seniors continuing role models in the church. Seniors continuing to be role models in the church. Questions. Question, what do we do, seniors, in the fall seasons of our lives as we grow older and knowing we have more life behind us than in front of us? Although there is some gray on the roof, is there enough fire in the belly to work in the vineyard of the Lord? Can we channel the um, remaining energy that we have to glorify the name of God and do his will? <laughs> oh, shucks. At 80 years old, Caleb said, give me that mountain. Sure, seniors, we may not be what we used to be. But thank God we are not what we were. Yes, our hair is grayer and our eyes are dimmer and our steps are slower to be sure. Okay, our hair is grayer, but that just exposes the wisdom we now wear as a crown. Yes, yes, our eyes have grown dimmer, but what we have lost in that physical characteristic, we have gained in spiritual insight. As well, our steps are slower. And we may be, we may be a trifle weaker 
But for the work of the Lord that is called, he has called us to do, we don't need any speed, strength, and agility. It's not a requisite. All we need is the love of God and the love of his holy word. Lastly, some of us may suffer from dementia and other debilitating diseases. And sometimes we just plain forget a staple item for seniors. But thank God for his mercy and his benefits for healing all our diseases and the gift of the Holy Spirit that teaches us all things and brings back to our remembrance all the things the Lord has taught us. How good the Lord is. Senior lives matter. When I wake up on Sunday mornings and I go through my paces, thanking God for another day for health and strength and a sound mind, I watch the senior leaders provide the Sunday school lessons at Elyton, how they read and break down the scriptures and ask all the relevant questions. I am a witness to senior teaching and leading prowess and the diligent way they lead, teach, and model. And I marvel at their wisdom, knowledge, and skill sets. But it did not come easily. During this season, we have had to make adjustments. The pandemic has brought on many challenges to prompt these adjustments. We cannot go into our beloved sanctuary and be face to face with our congregational families. But God has provided yet another ram in the bush. During COVID-19, the Zoom broadcast. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, seniors have had to reach deep into themselves, which allowed us to raise our technological game. Elyton Seniors Rock. Immediately, for many, many seniors who are like our future generations, many of us were not raised on a computer like our children and now our grandchildren. But because of our love for God and for the thirst of his righteousness, seniors had to step up their game tighten up their computer skills, and continue to serve the Lord with gladness. We are still working out the kinks and praying to God to make the rough edges plain, but we're getting there. On the computer, embracing the internet, and always on those conference calls. Seniors, we have worth. We have value. Seniors, we have power. Holy Ghost power. Seniors, in these turbulent times, in these pandemic times, let us continue to prove our value, to teach and lead God's children in all that we do. We can reprove, we can rebuke, Model and admonish, admonish all that God puts in our charge. He chose us to lead and to share our experiences, good and bad, and to teach so many about his great love. Many of us seniors have retired from various vocations and are living on a pension now that God has provided. But shall we retire? from the Lord's work, retire from the vineyard and diminish our work, and turn our attention from one who loves us so, so very much, and brought us thus far? By no means. Let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written, that you may be justified in your word and prevail, prevail when you are judged. Thank God senior lives matter. Yes. Seniors 
are role models. When I was a boy of 10, an incident occurred that I remember like it happened yesterday. I was in a neighborhood store not far from my home. The store belonged to a white store owner named Frank. At any event, as Frank was attending to other customers, I stole a piece of candy, a peppermint patty to be exact. You might know what those are. Now I would have gotten away with it, except had it not been for Mother Bostick. Mother Bostick was a good friend of the family, a devout follower of Christ, and of course a mother in the neighboring Baptist church, not even my family's church. Frank, the store owner's attention may have been diverted, but not Mother Bostick. Her gaze was riveted on me. Kirk, she shouted, did you pay for that candy? <laughs> no, ma'am, I responded. All the activity in the store came to an abrupt halt. Mother Bostick took a leather strap that was placed behind, around her neck which was probably standard equipment for seniors in the church back in the day. And she whipped me soundly right there in front of Frank and everybody, bringing me to tears. I believe Mother Bostick was 50 years old then. However, she had no problem handling my 10-year-old Frank, speaking of senior power. She grabbed me by the ear and escorted me home and told my mother what happened. My mother was so ashamed that a neighbor had to discipline me in public that she promptly gave me another whipping. When my father got home from work, my mother told him what happened. And you guessed it. I got another whipping. This time a for shaming my family. I can remember my father saying how embarrassed he was, stating there are no thieves in a good low family. I had made the trifecta three whippings in one day. It was nearly 50 years before I could eat another peppermint patty. Each time I had one, I was sorely reminded of those three whippings in one day. Although the pain is gone now, the impact still remains on my life. How on that day, three special seniors put 2 Timothy 4 and 2 into action. They reproved, they rebuked, exhorted the word of God on me in the best way they knew how, along with a steady diet of reminders that there was, that there was more of that to come if I ever did anything like that again. Trust me, brothers and sisters, I have never forgotten that lesson nearly 60 years ago. To this day, I have the utmost respect for all seniors. Seniors, our elders, those who are mature in their faith, in their Christian walk, need to be role models in the church. God needs his servants, his people to be ready to preach to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. No matter what season of life you are in or what temperature the times may be, whether good times or bad times, whether peaceful or turbulent times, we can never get too old to lift up the name of Jesus. 
the eyes of God and Jesus Christ are upon us. And we are charged by God and the Savior himself. You may be seniors, the only Bible an onlooker has ever read. Be wise and diligent. You are a role model for Jesus, his ambassadors to the world. Say it loud. We seniors are proud. Proud to teach, proud to lead, proud to reprove, proud to rebuke, proud to model and admonish, and proud to serve the Lord one more time. The second point I would like to share of three is that we are to be watchful over those in our care. Brothers and sisters, it is imperative that we keep watch over those who are in our care. At times, as human beings, we have a penchant of not wanting to submit to others in authority. Y'all remember what those three seniors did to me. To remedy this is to prescribe good teaching and sound doctrine and lots of love and patience. There will be times when we have to tell people of their faults. Can't escape it. But be upfront with them and deal straight with them, which should lead to their repentance. We have to encourage and exude patience to all those in our care, seniors at all times. I cannot stress that point enough. God is certainly patient with us. We must have the same kind of patience of those in our charge. We must teach the truth as it is in Jesus. And this will be the means to reclaim them from evil and bring them to a good place. Remember, seniors, the job of a teacher Leader is to help others persevere in the faith and bring them to Jesus Christ. We seniors can accomplish this goal by good teaching, by good leading, good preaching, modeling, admonishing, and correcting as God's leaders in the church. Seniors, here's a checklist that you as church leaders can use to monitor those in your care. These are areas you can be watching as we mentor and encourage those in our care. They should watch the word. Make sure our little charges attend Sunday school and church on a regular basis. Attend Bible study and prayer meetings when called. They should participate in additional class seminars and workshops to develop spiritual growth. Reading the Bible daily and do devotionals to rightly divide the word of truth. Watch Christ. To be a devout follower of Christ, we must always keep our eyes on him. Daily prayer and Bible study will develop and enhance our personal relationship with him. Tell those in your care that Jesus is the only way, the only way to get to heaven. We can only go to the Father except by him. Watch their conduct. As our charges matriculate through the church, Lend support in helping them develop lasting relationships with the pastor, trustees and deacons, and other church leaders. This will help them develop mentors and accountability partners to enhance their spiritual growth. Teach them to have healthy relationships with families, friends, and to use the Christian 
training that you seniors have taught them to sustain long-term relationships. The last watch is this. We got to watch ourselves. We as church leaders must continue to exemplify good Christian behavior and emulate the example and our first role model in our life, Jesus Christ. Bear in mind, brothers and sisters, we are accountable for what we do. Knowing that we are being constantly, constantly watched by those in our care. Most folks, even young folks, would rather see a sermon walked than one talked. My last point, brothers and sisters, is as seniors and elders of the church, we must be faithful to our duties till sickness or death claims us, to continue to preach, teach, lead, and endure in season and out of season, pouring out all that we have, doing this work, and keeping the faith. Looking back at the text, brothers and sisters, we see the Apostle Paul speaking to his beloved Timothy charging him to preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Paul continues by saying, be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions. Yes, endure. Do the work of an evangelist. Make proof of thy ministry despite the fact that Paul was facing a gruesome death, he was faithful to the end. Paul, always looking to the Savior, he knew would not let him down. For by the grace of God, Jesus would deliver Paul smack dab into heaven. Seniors and brothers and sisters, can we carry the message of the gospel to the end? Can we do that as Paul did? We can leave those in our care a model, a footprint to follow, to encourage those as Paul encouraged Timothy to endure hardness and tough times as a good soldier. We must and we will, brothers and sisters, because seniors here rock. Because seniors, it is expected of, of, of us, because of our holiness and righteousness that we receive through the blood of Christ, when we were born again, it's expected of us because we have the Spirit of God living in us. It's expected of us to teach, to lead, to preach and never give up. As like the Apostle Paul, we must fight a good fight. Finish the course and keep the faith till the end. We know there is more life behind us than in front of us, but we cannot allow that to concern us or stop us. For there is work to be done. Again, we must do as Paul and encourage those in our care to fight until the end like us. Who retires? Who retires? Not us. We can't. We just pass the responsibility on to others as Paul did to Timothy. And if you just want to sit down, consult. as Jesus did on the cross one Friday, encouraging John, the disciple, who loved his mother, we have to continue to care for others. Jesus cared for his mother on the cross and gave him to the disciple who loved him, John. 
when Jesus rose from the dead, he loved on and encouraged his disciples to do the work that he taught them and modeled for them. All power was given him in heaven and in the earth. All power. He told them to go forth and preach and teach the word and witness for him in Jerusalem, in Judea and in Samaria and to all points of the earth. And he said, I will never leave you. I will never leave you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. He promised. He promised us. He promised he would never, ever leave us nor forsake us. Never give up, deacons. Never give up, trustees. Never give up, Sunday school teachers. Never give up, preachers and pastors. Never give up, kitchen help, security and, and maintenance. Never give up. Never give up, seniors, because seniors here at Littleton rock. Thank you. Come on, bless the Lord. What a powerful word on today. We thank the Reverend Dr. Kurt Goodlow for blessing us with a very powerful message that seniors are on a road model, continuing in road modeling in the church. What a message. What an encouraging message to be all that we can be to the very end be role models, be those who are in charge and to watch over those who God has put before us and to continue on the battlefield to the end. What a mission because God's not through with us yet. Yes, yeah, senior lives matter. Somebody say senior lives matter. Hallelujah. Seniors teaching and leading, teaching and leading in turbulent times. Amen. One more time, let's celebrate Dr. Kurt Goodlow for blessing us. We're so full thankful for the word on, on today. Amen. So at this time, we want to extend an invitation to make Christ your Savior. Be it if you're young or old, Jesus came and died for us all that we might have a life in that more abundantly. And so we encourage you to text your name to join at elantonmbc.org. If you need salvation, it's in Jesus. So we invite you. We invite you to be a part of the kingdom of God, and to be a part of the Elington Missionary Baptist Church. And again, we just thank God for the power of his word that speaks to our hearts and our minds that we might accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. At this time, at this time, we're going to have a special presentation. The Senior Power Day. We thank God. We thank God for our, our seniors. And we thank God for those who give leadership to our seniors' ministry. And I want you to this time to receive Sister Barbara McKizak and also Sister Donna Hamilton, who's not with us on today. She's out of town. But I want you to receive, put your hands together and receive Sister McKizak as she comes and shares. And we can honor, honor our seniors on today. Praise the Lord, saints. It's just an honor, an honor to be in the house of the Lord. I don't know about you, but I've not been here since February. It just feels good to come in the door. Uh, I want to thank Pastor Miller for telling us again we are going to celebrate our seniors. Uh, and I also thank Pastor, uh, Reverend Goodlow for his um, outstanding word today. So um, I'm going to read to you about the bio from our first uh, recipient. This couple has given 25 years of service to Edithton Missionary Baptist Church. The couple has been married 43 years and have four sons. He is a dedicated family man. He is a trustee, a member of the Helping Hands Ministry, an usher, an active member of the men's ministry, barbecue for men's ministry events, and church picnics, and visits sick and shut in regularly. She is a retired medical assistant for over 37 years. She is also a member of the Helping Hands Ministry, serves on the kitchen committee, and sings with the choral ensemble and the mass choir. She is an intricate part of our youth ministry the Elmer W. Smith Scholarship Committee, and the Seniors Power Ministry. She is also known to be a very highly sophisticated woman. So, Elton, if you don't know who the couple is by now, please put your hands together for our very own 2020 power couple, Mr. and Mrs. Gregory Warford. The award states, Elton Missionary Baptist Church Senior Power Couple, Gregory and Dorothy Warford in grateful appreciation for your many years of outstanding service and dedication to the church. 
September 27, 2020, Barbara Green McKissick, Chairperson, and Sandra Shirley, Co-Chair, Gerald T. Miller, Pastor. Uh, this is a real honor and, and a privilege. Uh, we were quite shocked. I uh, like the way this was done. We were totally surprised, but we give glory to God, and we just thank you just for being, it is an honor to be honored. Thank you very much. Thank you. And for our next uh, awardee, this distinguished recipient has given over 40 years of service to Ellington Missionary Baptist Church. She is a dedicated mother of two sons and one of the best singers this side of heaven. God gave her a voice and she used it to glorify him. She was an original member of the Ellington Echoes, a member of the Choral Ensemble, and the Ellington Mass Choir. She has served on the Ellington Scholarship Committee and the Culinary Committee. She is an intricate support of the Youth Ministry, the Elmer W. Smith Scholarship Committee, and the Senior Power Ministry. She is also known to be a very highly fashionable woman. This woman is absolutely positive and an excellent role model for being the best you that one could possibly be. We at Illerton pray God's blessing for her and her life. So Illerton, if you don't know who this woman of valor is by now, please put your hands together for our 2020 Senior Power Award, Lorraine Dunn. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> wow, I've been a member of this church since I was 14 years old. And I am now 68 and proud of it. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Illerton. This was such a surprise. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, committee. Uh, just, I don't know what to say. Just thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Our next recipient, this distinguished gentleman, has given over 35 years of service to Ellington Missionary Baptist Church. He is one of the best director and singers this side of heaven. God granted him the talent of teaching chords and waving those arms like no other, and he used to do it to glorify him. He holds membership in all the choirs of Ellington, the Senior Power Choir, the Males Choir, the Zion Choir, the Choral Ensemble, the Youth Choir, and the Ellington Mass Choir. He's an intricate support of our youth ministry, women's day ministry, men's ministry, and senior power ministry. This gentleman has the attributes of a true man. In everything he does, he shows commitment, wisdom, skillfulness, patience, and consistency. Today, we, the power, the senior power ministry, as well as Ellington Missionary Baptist Church, pause to remember your labor of love, your endurance, it is our prayer that you continue to see God's hand in all that you do, for you are a blessing and a joy to, Miss, to Ellington Missionary Baptist Church. So Ellington, if you don't know who this gentleman is by now, please put your hands together for our very own 2020 Senior Power Award, Maestro Robert Majors. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I'm um, like Sister Lorraine, wow. I never expected this on today, but I truly thank God for him blessing me and me being a servant for him. Um, thank you very much, and I'm gonna keep on running for the Lord. Thank you. So again, I just wanted to um, tell the seniors how much we love them. Um, we try to share all the information we can with our young people about how we became seniors, that they need to listen to us talk sometimes and understand ways, the ways of doing things. But again, Pastor, thank you so much. Um, I know a lot of us normally have a senior trip. We weren't able to take that senior trip this year, and we miss it. But uh, hopefully, uh, God's prayer, we all be able to do that next year. Again, thank you so much, and thank you, seniors. Amen, amen. Come on, let's celebrate all of our recipients of the 2020 Senior Power Day Awards. We thank God for them. Put your hands together for the Senior Power Couple. All right, brother and sister Wolford, also for our other recipients, brother Robert Major and sister Lorraine Dunn. Glory to his name. 
And listen, we thank God for our senior ministry leaders in that of Barbara McKissack. We thank her for all that she has done. And also we thank God for Sister Donna Hamilton that is not here. And let's put our hands together for that powerful prayer. I ought to pray on today by Deacon Shonda Shirley, who blessed us as well. This has been a blessed day, and we thank God for the seniors. We thank God for all of our seniors and all that they mean to Ela to Mission to Barry Baptist Church and what they mean to the kingdom of God. Wasn't that a powerful, powerful, encouraging message to the people of God, to the seniors? You just got to keep on keeping on in the Lord and be a role model, be a role model for so many more to be watchful, to be a model, to watch, to encourage, and to keep on keeping on because the Lord ain't through with you yet. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Seniors matter. Somebody text in the comment box that seniors matter. And uh, what would we do without those seniors that catch us stealing, catch us doing wrong, and give us a good old-fashioned whipping to impact our lives forever? Wow, what a powerful message. Thank you, Dr. Goodlow. We just thank you for the power of the word. We thank God for the messenger of God. Were you blessed, Elinton? Were you blessed? <laughs> Hallelujah. Senior Power Day. We are just so thankful. We're so thankful for all of our seniors. And listen, you all just made me proud, uh, Dr. Goodlow. You just made me proud to be 62 years old. All right. All right. All right. I'm, 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 I'm going to continue to model, continue to model in the church to, to rebuke and to correct, to, to do what God has called us to do. What a blessing. What a blessing on, on today. God bless you. We're going to have our ministry highlights at this time. Praise the Lord, saints. Thank you for attending our first virtual Senior Power Day worship experience. We give God all the glory, honor, and praise. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 4 and 2, proclaim the message. Be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. We thank God for allowing our seniors to teach and lead in turbulent times. Thank you for your continuous support, Sister Donna Hamilton, Chairperson, and Sister Barbara McKissick, Co-Chairperson. Low-cost community resources provided by our COVID-19 committee is located on the Illiton NBC SM Facebook page. We are committed to your spiritual growth and connecting with you using alternative methods for worship services, Bible studies, and meetings. To receive updates by email, send your request to email address normalraws at yahoo.com. That's N-O-R-M-A period R-A-W-L-S at Y-A-H-O-O period C-O-M or by phone at 313-921-4073 extension 10. Sunday school is each Sunday at 9 a.m. Contact Normal Raws by email or phone for the Zoom app login and password. A call to worship service begins each Sunday at 1030 a.m. A call to praise every Wednesday at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. A call to Bible study begins each Wednesday at 1130 a.m. and 630 p.m. Worship services, Bible studies, and prayer will be conducted on our conference call line. The direct number to call in is 515-603-5693. Worship services will also stream live on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please like, share, and follow us on all social media platforms at Illiton NBC SM. To partner and support us in ministry, please share your tithes, offerings, and gifts in two ways. By mail, P.O. Box 13219, Detroit, Michigan, 48213. Do not send mail to the physical church address 8935 St. Cyril. You can also use the secure mobile app Givelify. Download Givelify at your Google or App Store. Please remember our sick and shut-in, bereaving families and our entire congregations with calls, texts, cards, and prayers. Thank you for tuning in today. We look forward to reconnecting with you next time. Have a blessed week. 
Amen. We want you to be mindful of all of the ministry opportunities. Make sure, make sure that you are doing what we need to do to stay safe, to stay safe. Wearing those masks, washing your hands, those hygienes are very important, my brothers and sisters. Social distancing and doing all the rest that we can be safe. We can be safe, that we can continue to do the work of the Lord safely, safely, and in love and power, modeling what Christian love and behavior is all about. Amen. Now for our benediction. Heads raised and eyes wide open. Now may the grace of God, the love of Jesus, and the sweet, blessed communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us throughout this day. And when you lie down tonight, and when you rise early in the morning, whether it's a day of labor or a day of leisure, whether you feel good or you don't feel so well at all, whether things are going your way or not, may God's grace and mercy undergird you to support you cover you to protect and shield you and surround you to bless and keep you. Yes, now, henceforth and forever. And all the people of God said together, amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Tell somebody, senior lives matter. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. You won't.